Welcome back. This is Brendan Cavalier again uh, from those old videos. So here's our third and final beginner's tutorial. How to make a box. So say now you've made your boxes and you or you've made your gears. Now you want to put them in a box somewhere or you want to put them on something other than just that plate. So now we need to go back to my DP. You go back to laser cutter resources right here. Now we're going to click on laser cutter box generator. All right. So here we are. We are at a website of the laser cutter box generator. All right. So the first thing we're going to do here is click on advanced options. So I've noticed that on some of the computers, this notch length doesn't come up automatically, even if you click on this auto box which means you're going to have to switch back and forth between Chrome and Internet Explorer because when you try and print this out in Chrome, it certainly doesn't work because of our Internet restrictions. Uh, if you have your own computer and you're doing this at home, then you can do it there. But if you're doing it at school, you're going to have to switch back and forth because these school computers, this notch length isn't populated automatically unless you have a teacher's computer. Uh, and this uh, doesn't print in... Illustrator, or in, uh, sorry, in Chrome. So you can switch between millimeters, centimeters, and inches. We're going to stick with inches for now. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to make a box that's, say, let's make this a little smaller. So 2 by 3 by 4. Now one thing to keep in mind is you probably want to make a box where the three sides are different. This makes it easier to assemble since sometimes your boxes won't won't be easy to assemble if they're all the same size. It's hard to tell what's a side or a top or a bottom. Most of the materials that we're going to be using here are going to be 0.12 inches thick. So that's material thickness. That's our material. You see the notch length automatically pops over to 0.3. Uh, that's just because the hard board which we use, which is both cheap and very good for, uh, for our gears and boxes, is uh, an eighth of an inch thick. If you want to make some art projects, like what, what's showing up on the left-hand side over here, you can find some different materials, but you'll have to measure that material thickness using the calipers a few times, get an average thickness, and then put that into the material thickness. So now with our cut width, the, uh, the laser cutter is not a magic piece of machinery which mystically separates wood from other pieces of wood without any separation or any uh, thickness between them. It actually does have a cut width. That cut width uh, for the laser cutter uh, box generator is 0 0.008. Make sure you get all those zeros in there. If you put in 0 0.08, it doesn't work. It's way too thick. 0 0.008. That'll make you a box that fits tightly together, that's snug, that does not require glue. Um, it might be a good idea if you want your boxes to last a long time to have it use glue, but uh, it'll hold together all by itself. So now that this is done, we're going to press Design It. And this designs for us a nice box. So for on student computers, what you're going to have to do is click Open. It's going to open it, and then you're going to click File, Save As, PDF. And you're going to save it into My Documents. And let's just call this Test Box. Test Box. And click Save. So now you have a PDF of this saved as a test box. Again, same with the gears. We don't want it as PDF. We want it as an Illustrator file. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to press File. Open. Go to My Documents here and go to test box. Here we are. Test box. So now we have this. Again, control A, select all. We can click edit. Should be under here, select all. Or maybe it's not. But now we're just now that it's all selected, we're gonna press copy. You're going to close this file. I don't need that file. I need all of my work to be done in the template. 
if you ask me for help, and you're not in the template, which I will recognize pretty quickly, I'm not going to be able to help you. The first thing I'm going to say is put it in the template. So we've read all this stuff already, right? Already read all that. I'm going to delete it. We're working in the template that's saved to our My Documents, not the one on the uh, on the shared drive. And press Control V or Edit Paste. There's everything for our box, right? So now we don't need this information, right? What I what we do need is we need to select these boxes and group them. What this does is it makes it so that this moves easily as one piece, right? If I just click on it, I can move it. If I click on this, up oh, what? I just moved one piece and now my box is kind of ruined. So I need to press Control Z or Edit Undo. I'm going to select it, group, group, group. And this is actually uh, something that you guys should learn: is that if you want pieces to stay together like gears with their shafts or boxes or pieces. They need to stay together regardless of how I want to manipulate them when I want to print them. You need to group them. All right. So what I'm doing right now is I'm moving all this stuff over so it fits nicely in as little material space as possible. And this is what I'm going to do every single time to your stuff. So I'm trying to save as much of the wood as possible by doing this and leaving me with as much scrap so that I can get things done. Alright, so now that this is all up here, again, we select everything. We make sure that our fill, our fill is null, which it is, white with a red line through it. And we need to click on this stroke here, stroke, click to activate stroke. So then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to press red. Awesome. And I'm going to go to here, weight, type in 0 0.001, enter. Now my box is ready to cut. So if I wanted to put, say, the gear shafts on here, I could put the gears here, put a gear here and a gear here, uh, and have them rotate inside the box, and then I'd want everything that I'm cutting all at once in one file. I'm going to save this as under engineering. Just typed in E for engineering. And L for laser cutter files. There it is. And now I'm going to call this Brendan C. Box. Okay, now we're all done, guys. Thanks for watching. These are our three beginner tutorial videos. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more of these for more advanced things and how to uh, how to cut all sorts of fun shapes. Thanks, guys. Bye.